All eagle eyes getting ready to swoop down on somebody. Hope it's not me. Batten, huh? He just looks tough. Rusty bolt, pitted barrel. Sergeant, put this man on report for dirty rifle. Aye, aye, sir. Dismiss the company. Spike here. Oh! Port! Oh! Dismiss. Uh, send Lieutenant Trailer in. Come in, Mrs. Trailer. Sir, First Lieutenant Trailer reports for duty in obedience to these orders. Glad to see you, Trailer. Sit down. I guess I'm an hour late, Colonel. An hour, Lieutenant, and the whole day. I was getting ready to add that, sir. Well, I don't want to be harsh, especially to a returning hero. Oh, <laughs> it was unavoidable, uh, Colonel. Never mind the alibis. Used most of them myself. Right now, I'm a bit curious about that uh, overcoat. Oh, it's, uh, it's a tropical fever, sir. One minute I'm shivering from head to foot, and the next moment I'm as cold well, you're, as... You're not chilled now, I hope. Oh, no, sir. At the moment, I feel very comfortable. Yeah. Well, you've been giving hot and cold sweats to several old credits since you've been away from the States. So the service will not tolerate an officer who fails to pay his debts. Why, it was an oversight, sir. I'll take care of it. Well, see that you do, Trailer, and that's final. I'm assigning you to uh, Captain Benton's company. Captain Benton? Captain Edward Benton? <laughs> Would be a pleasure. The adjutant will endorse your orders. So you're signed to my command again. How do you like the idea? Great break for you, Benton. Not unless you change a lot. Me? I'll never change. <laughs> so I see. <laughs> Wild Bill Trailer, Playboy of the Marines. Sure. Huh? Somebody in this outfit's got to live up to those glamorous recruiting posters. You know rickshaw holidays, seeing the world through glass bottoms. <laughs> Join the Marines and be the first to fight with time out for fun and frolic. So that's your idea of life in the Marines, eh? That's my idea of life anywhere. I want to be a smiling lieutenant, not a sourpuss captain. Why, you! As you were, Captain. Uh, let's call a truce to this two-man war. Since I've been in the Marines, I've been in 18 skirmishes, and 14 of them have been with you. <laughs> you and I will never have the same point of view, Trailer. As long as you're in my company, you'll have to accept mine. Same old actor, huh? You know what you need, Skipper? You need the softening influence of a lovely woman. Ha! Huh. For instance, a Spanish dancer named Rosita, eh? Ah, somebody told you. Told me? Kid, that's marine history. She followed you from Panama Gill to Panama City, from Panama, Panama City, City to North, North, from North, North to, to San City. Francisco, and there the chase ended. <laughs> I tell you, sir, she was harder to shake than a seven with the other guy's dice, but you can bet your life I did it. <laughs> you want me to stand by, lady? No, you can sit down. I'll be back. I have taken up the matter of his debts with Lieutenant Trailer, and he has promised me... So, he made you promises too, eh? But don't you believe him, Commandante? His word, poof, is not worth a paper for two pins. I beg your pardon? It is not for you to make an excuse. It is for Billy. He is the liar. He promised me this, he tell me that, and then like an eel, he slips away. What are you talking about? I talk about Billy, the same as you. He tell me in San Francisco he go to China. But he lied. He is here. The Army and Navy Register, she say so. Oh, I see. Lieutenant Trailer. This is the my Billy C. And you are Miss... Uh... I'm Rosita Hernandez Consuelo Oliveira y Buenaventura. You have not heard of Rosita the dancer from Ponta Miguel? Uh, just one moment. Do you mind telling me uh, just what you want with Lieutenant Trailer? <laughs> I want to marry him. If I catch him. Uh, did he uh, promise to marry you? Billy, he promised me anything if I go to China. Once it was in Panama City, he said to me. Uh, uh, just uh, one moment, senorita. Did Lieutenant Trailer uh, try to make love to you? Do you know Ponta Miguel when the moon she is shining? Yes. Oh, it is beautiful. The moon, the smell of the flowers. The lights on the water. And for such a night as this, Lieutenant Trailer uh, uh, made love to you? Oh, no, 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 no. He do not make love to me. That is the trouble. 
I made love to him. It is the night that he saved me from the bandits. My ankle is what you call sprain. He takes me in his arms like this. Oh, and I like it so much. Then I snuggle close to him like this. Oh, and I like it so much that I give Billy a big, big kiss. Yes, I, I understand, yes. Yes, but then he spoiled it all. He dumped me right on the ground. Plump. And then he shake his finger at me like this. What do you think he say? He say, Rosita, business is business. If you kiss me again, I'll thank you. And then what happened? <laughs> he spanked me. <laughs> and I like it. Never, never can he lose me. He saved my life. Now it belongs to him. Will you help me marry him? No, I, uh, I think you'd better manage him yourself. Believe me, Commandante, I will. <laughs> so that's why I say no girl's gonna anchor me. <laughs> An anchor's not a bad idea. If it's the right kind. Oh, nice number. Is she gonna be your anchor? Yes, if I can persuade her. I bet she's at least a general's daughter. Her father happens to be Captain Manning of the Navy. You know what you're getting into, but does she know what she's doing? I think so. You'll meet her this afternoon at the Admiral's party. No Admiral's party for me. With this head? <sighs> oh, you go, Benton. That's your battlefield. Get this, trailer. You're going to the Admiral's party. Orders? Orders. Something tells me you're going to regret this. You're making a clean start here, trailer. Your old life is over and done with. Finished. I heard different. Baby! Get me! So, you run away like a rabbit and give Rosita the ditch, no? No, 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 you got me all wrong, Rosita. I was just asking Captain Benton's permission to throw you a big surprise party tonight. Oh, Billy, you sweetheart. So funny. No, it's all off now, Rosita. Captain Benton won't let me leave the post, says I have the duty. Oh, me, Capitan, please let my Billy give me my surprise party. If you do, I will give you a great big kiss. Miss Wilhere, wait a minute. I, I, I don't understand. Uh, trailer! Please, my Capitan, just this one. But, but, but really, there's nothing I can do about it. He seems to have the situation well in hand, sir. Mm -hmm. So it seems. Oh, please, just this one, please. Let my Billy give me that party, please. Oh. I'll be out of here in two shakes of the Admiral's hand. Oh, but it's his party, sir. You'll have to stay. You'll have to stay. This mid-Victorian stagecoach is my alibi. As long as it's here, they think I'm here. Bonsoir, Cupid. in Porter McGill, Lieutenant. Everyone's talking about you. Thank you, Mrs. Dunn, but don't believe all you hear. I say he did the most terrible things in Nicaragua. Mm. I wonder if he's as wild as they say. If he's anything like his father, he is. His grandfather was no Lily. He was a Marine. Oh. <laughs> We're not marching, men. We're dancing. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> I'm glad you insisted on my coming, Captain. It's even lovelier than I expected. Isn't that the celebrated Lieutenant Trailer? Yes, the conquering hero. He seems to be the conquering type. Every girl at the party's raving about him. But don't break in on him. Why not? Can't you see they're in love? Oh, excuse me. Great hero. Charming manner. At least he fixed it so that I'm still dancing with you. Matherin. We're not marching, you know. We're dancing. This is supposed to be fun, Dar, is it? Do you always call people by their first names when you haven't even met them? Not always, but you're lucky. I think you're swell. Dashing <laughs> hero. I don't broadcast it. I suppose these ribbons come with every uniform? I got this one for saving a fish from drowning. I beg your pardon, is that supposed to be funny? You see, he was the general's favorite fish, poor old thing. His name was Arnold. Who, the general? Oh, no, the fish. He was swimming in uncharted waters and didn't have his binoculars. Poor thing, he slipped right over a lighthouse. How amusing. No interruptions, please. Arnold slipped and was sinking fast. I put on my water wings, plunged in and grabbed him by the ears. But Arnold's ears were tender. He gave a mighty leap and jerked me right back into the boat. Really? I think they should have given the medal to the fish. That's just what I told the general. I see he took your advice. 
Now I know you're slow. <laughs> It's the whole top of the fever. I feel faint. Oh. I want air. I'll get you some water. I can't. I, I can't drink water. Just take me out. I want air. You'd better sit down. No, no, no. I must keep moving. Oh, oh come on, sweet. The world's our playground. Oh, here. You can't do this. Stop. Let me go. You can't do when this. When did you see I make this old car go? But you... Telling me just why you're driving me out here? To tell you that you're the most gorgeous girl I've ever seen. Now, what do you think about me? I think you're the most insolent, conceited man I ever saw in a uniform bar, none. Oh, oh love that first sight. <sighs> oh, I'm going back. <laughs> man, the lake boats, women and children first. It was his fault. It was your fault. Not a word out of you. You were driving you wild. My brand new car. But you might have killed somebody. Who do you think you are? The fire chief? Look at the car you're driving. Terrible. You probably belongs to some rich butcher. <gasps> oh, shut up. Here, you. Tell your boss to take it up with the Marines. It will be a pleasure, Lieutenant. I'll take this matter up with your commanding officer. Oh, my heart, my head, my liver. Oh. What's the meaning of this? Oh. <gasps> you don't understand, Admiral. It's a bad case of tropical fever. I was rushing him to the hospital. He insisted on driving, and he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know. He doesn't know anything when he gets these attacks. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can't we get these cars untangled? What, what are you standing there for? Get busy. Yes, sir. Get out of the way. You're sick. I... Push a little more to the right, driver. Just a minute, just a minute. Oh. A little more. <clears throat> Admiral, it's strong backs that make the Navy. Oh. Uh, Lieutenant Taylor's car, sir. At your service, sir. Where's my car? Uh, uh, Lieutenant Taylor borrowed it, sir. He and a young lady. How long have they been gone? Uh, two hours and 17 minutes, sir. Shall I drive you to the barracks, sir? Yes. Hello, Captain Benson. Where is my Billy? Oh, please. Please tell me. Oh, please tell me. What is my Billy? Oh, he's in my hair. What again, Captain? <laughs> oh, you, you tell me where is my Billy. Oh, come on, tell me. Oh, Please, you, can you tell me what is my Billy? Oh, please tell me. Oh, Patty dear, and did you hear the news that's going around? Ten thousand gobs laid down their swabs to fight one sick Marine. Oh, da dee da dee da 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 dee 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 da 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 Put on your knitting, Mammy, and rest your tired eyes. Don't fix my swallowtail coat and pretty me up. I've got a heavy day. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What time will you be wanting the limousine, sir? Draw it away. I still have the roadster. You mean Captain Benton's car, sir? Yeah, sure. And his girlfriend to go with it. Uh, where are you? Ow. Pick that down, sir. Come on now, get that shirt ready. She's not the kind you can keep waiting. This is something special. Yes, sir. Yes. Extra special, sir. The young lady is what we old-time Marines would call a genuine lalapalooza. How do you spell that? 
Ellie, Allah, uh, uh, P E A C H, sir. I'll say, and for what Rosita didn't show us. <laughs> That's what you think. Don't tell me she followed me to the Admiral's. I must tell you, sir. She did. Oh. Cease firing! Uh oh! Here we go again! Open this door, horse face! I want to see Billy! You can't see him, he's in conference! Don't give me that old baloney again! Open this door, I tell you! Uh, I'm sorry to have been late, Colonel. I hope you made yourself comfortable, sir. See, the Colonel's here. Two admirals, a general, and four majors. What? No women? No. This is some more monkey business. Let me in! Martin, come in here and close that door. <laughs> yes, sir. Right away, sir. I'm coming, sir. General, this conference is going to make history. It, it, it's, going to, it, it's going to take its place alongside the Versailles Treaty, the Russian five-year plan, and the repeal of the 18th Amendment. Hi! <laughs> when do you think this conference will end, General? What I want to accomplish tonight is going to take hours and hours and hours. Maybe all night. Outside the bathroom window, about that wide. A cinch, I can make it on horseback there. Where's my coat? Coat, coat. <laughs> you you uh, say you're hungry, General, and you too, Colonel? <laughs> I'll call room service. Oh, I remember. I set it down to the valet. It must be in the servidor. I'll look and see. Hello? Room service? Uh, this is uh, Lieutenant Trailer speaking. Send me up nine orders of roast beef. Some navy beans and some baked potatoes. Oh, and we want some ice cream and apple pie with uh, some... Uh... Chili sauce for Rosita. Come right into the big conference, Rosita. I would like for you to meet all these gentlemen. Oh, hello there, General. And how is it with you, Major? Oh, lots of Majors. How do you do, Major? Gentlemen, gentlemen, I would like for you to meet Rosita, the Spanish dancer from Ponte Miguel, and my good friend, the Colonel. Where's the Colonel? The Colonel. Oh, there you are, senor. So, you think you give it a run around, eh? You give Rosita the sleep up this afternoon, no? Sleep up? That was the Admiral's reception. I had to go. Where are you going now? Well, to tell you the truth, uh, I'm going out to... I know. I know why you don't want to tell me. You know what? Why? <laughs> because you're going to give Rosita a big surprising party. And you're afraid of spoiling and surprising, no? Yeah, I yeah. Know. That's right, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me Rosie. A mere figure of speech, my little blossom. Won't you be surprised? Oh, boy. So funny. <laughs> 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 Terrific. I'm laughing now. As soon as I get back, we'll have the party. Get back? Where you go now? I'm going to Captain Manning's residence. I'm a same on important business. Listen, you banana oiler. From this place till never. Where you go, I go. But F J er he a way um fe s a or day. Oi fe! You three timer, you running around with other women. Three timer? What kind of talk is that? Oh, I'm getting sick and tired of this kind of business. You are getting sick and tired. Of, you are getting sick and tired. See, but my second best friend in the other world is. Whatever you are selling, I have some. Now get this straight. So help me. I wouldn't marry you to the last woman on earth. Billy, you don't... You, you don't love me? No, no, no. Do you catch on or must I make myself plain? All right, Billy. If you... If that's the way you feel about it. All right. Goodbye. No. No fooling? No fooling. Goodbye. 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 
Never a dull moment. As if I'm not crazy enough myself, wouldn't I look swell married to a crazy woman? <laughs> trying to throw us up out of a five-story window. Such goings on. Why do I care? I know you're going to marry somebody else. What for should I leave? Who said I was going to marry somebody else? I'm a bachelor. I'll never marry anybody. You mean that? Not never? Well, hardly ever. I, I might marry when I get to be a general. Oh, then I'll wait. Uh-huh. And no swan dives out of windows. Positively no. But when you are a general, you will marry me, maybe? Maybe. Oh, I am so happy. <laughs> I am so happy. Oh, no, no. Chichita. Now blow. <laughs> I'm moving back to the Marine Barracks tomorrow. Get out of here, you idiot! Get out! Nice to have seen you, sire. <laughs> Fire and fall back. Fire and fall back, and you're a Marine. My motto, he who loves and runs away will live to love another day. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but I'm running away soon. And not for me. No. Dad's been appointed governor of Ponte Miguel. Ponte Miguel, my old stamping ground. Really? Sure. He sails in a month and I sail with him. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, here's to the next 30 days and consider yourself dated up to 24 hours of each. Oh, please. When do I sleep? When you get to Ponte Miguel and you'll dream of me. <laughs> Fire and fall back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money. I want a lot of places to spend it. Oh, since you've been here, we've been every place. I'll make them build new ones. Oh, then you're impossible. <laughs> you're pretty good yourself. Oh. <laughs> Empty. I'm going to play mine on red, just like your lips. Oh. Hooray for the torch. He's one tough soldier, but a swell guy. Oh, but, sir, he's a bandit. He's he... my favorite bandit. He's giving me a trip to Ponte Miguel with Dorothy. Hello? Get away from that phone, you big gorilla. Oh, oh here, here we go again. Rosita? Uh, uh, Tell her I'm on morning inspection. Uh, why, uh, here... Hi! Oh, oh. <laughs> no you. she heard you. <laughs> Yes, my little tamale. Captain Benton's company is going to Ponte Miguel, but not me. I stay right here in San Diego. If you're giving me this run-around business again, I will kill you. But I'm not fooling you. Somebody's got to stay with the colonel, and he picked me. I think it's because he likes you. All right. All right. I believe you this time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got a swell job to dance. Wait till you see the Sita. <laughs> You'll never run away from her, baby. Billy. 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 Billy! Billy! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I'm sorry I wasn't in. I was out shopping. Getting things for the trip? Oh, yes. You know that last minute in spying. Get all fixed up? Oh, I think so. They're awfully nice. Oh, glad you like them. Why so sad, my friend? I'm not sad. I'm worried. What about? About you. You know, this trip is no picnic, Dorothy. It's serious. The torch may tear Ponte Miguel wide open. It's no place for you. Don't you want me with you? Well, of course, but it's dangerous. Well, what of it? I'm thrilled. Shoving off tomorrow. Oh, I hear Ponte Miguel is wonderful. Oh, it's just another tropical island. The water is like sapphire and emerald. The air is perfume. That sounds like some of Bill Trailer's romantic nonsense. It is. But it's not nonsense. Too bad I didn't make you marry me long ago. Perhaps you should have. You know, except for the torch, it would make a splendid honeymoon. Leaving tomorrow on the transport, then Ponta McGill. Perfect. Dorothy, will you marry me? For you, Miss Manning. Oh. Flowers for you, from you know who. And please don't be resenting this silly bird, for on my word, I'm giving the bird to Bandon. <laughs> I suppose that's Trader's idea of a joke. I'd like to hand him a sock on the nose. Oh, that's not like you, Ned. Dorothy, I was asking you to marry me. Well, how can we? We sail tomorrow. And tonight's the big farewell party at Tijuana. Well, we could be married on the boat. People have been married in Tijuana. Yes, I... I'm not sure I can go tonight. Oh, Ned, you said you'd take me. Well, I, I will, but I'm afraid we can't go until quite late. I have to check over my supplies. No, let somebody else do it. Doesn't anything interest you but your work? But please, Dorothy, I, I have to. You are gallant. Don't be alarmed, folks. <laughs> I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, are you, Dorothy? You look gorgeous. Hi, Miss Soldier. Hello, Shredder. Well, I'll be getting along, Dorothy. Things are getting just too funny for me. Oh, don't go, Ned. Oh, don't go on my account. We like having you around, don't we, Dorothy? <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, Ned. Don't get all hot and bothered. I was only fooling. You bowled over a lot of women one place or another, Trailer. Don't try it with Dorothy. She's not for you. I think she's all for me. You know, if I could believe you were on the level, I'd have no right to object. Well, if you win her, I'll congratulate you. Thanks. If you win her. Thanks again. <laughs> oh, the flowers are lovely. Thanks, Bill. What was this pair? There's a little expression I made up one time. All's fair in love and war, especially love. Bill. <laughs> I have a swell idea. You and I will go to Tijuana ahead of the rest of the crowd. Well, who told you I was going with you? This little bird told me. Same vintage, sir? Yes, but send it over here, please. Oh, but this is supposed to be a farewell party. It is. You and I say farewell to the United States. What <sighs> happened? Well, we're in Tijuana. That's Mexico. Oh, what's a little thing like a borderline? Just something to ride over. <laughs> mm, no matter whose territory. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. The Club Madrid presents, for the first time in North America, the artiste that makes the tropics tropical, the firebird of Ponta Miguel, Rosita.
He longs for this because he's crazy for his Rosita, baby. I don't do no way. Playmate with his trailer. <laughs> And what are you going to Oh, I'm going to be a soldier boy, and you're going to have a candy store, and you and I are going to be married. Everything. <laughs> I used to want everything, but now I only... But you're so hard to get. Ah, oh, maybe that's why you want me. Dorothy, uh, you're wonderful. And your father is certainly a splendid fellow. From uh, taking you to Park Miguel. At what time are we going to. a girl, a Spanish girl. But I thought that was all over. It is all over, Dorothy. And I love you. She is beautiful. I don't blame you. What's the matter? Jealous? And why should I be jealous? The same reason I'm jealous of Ned Benton. You love me, Dorothy, the same as I love you. What's the use of sidestepping? We love each other. But that girl... Oh, all of my life, long ago, ever since I met you. Oh, I must think. Don't. I can give your life something. Far places that leave pictures in your soul forever. Sounds that would ring like bells in your heart. Places of long ago and far away. I could paint your life bright gold. What are you saying? Marry me. <laughs> but we could never be happy. Your life is without reality. Just brightly painted madness. Charming, isn't it? With you as my wife, I could be something. Anything. A colonel, a general. Why, I could be even major general commandant of the whole Marine Corps. But we sail tomorrow. Oh, what of it? When we get on the boat. You'll marry me tonight in Tijuana. You will, Dorothy, won't you? Tonight. Bill, I told you I'd congratulate you if you ever won her. I do congratulate you. Thanks, Ned. Would you do me a big favor? Be my best man. You really mean it? Absolutely. Right. <laughs> champagne. Champagne for everybody. Buckets and buckets of champagne. <laughs> Dorothy. With all my heart. I wish you only the best. I know you do, Ned. The biggest night in the world. Come on, what do you say? Bring on the reserve. Bring on that champagne. Pardon. Mr. Lopez would like to see you, please. Excuse me, darling. Excuse me. I want champagne. What's the matter? I am sorry, Mr. Trader. You are laying for Santa Michel tomorrow. You must sell your account with us. It is long overdue. Don't you trust me? I always pay my bill. I am not interested in always. This is a lot of money, and I want it tonight. Uh, here's three hundred dollars on account. Nothing doing. I want it all. All right. 
That roulette wheel of yours took my dough. I'll make it pay me back. Tonight's my lucky night. Be right with you. See you later, Dorothy. Who is that woman? Look here, Rosita. I want to tell you something. You better tell Rosita something pretty nice, or I'll get all over this place. Who is that woman? I have to be nice to her. Her father's a big shot in the Navy. He's going to be governor of Ponte Miguel. You like her? Well, uh, I'm very fond of her father. And I have to get along with her so that she'll promote me. You want me to be a general, don't you? You bet you my boots I do. Yes, I must remember that. Uh, she sails tomorrow, get me? But you stay here, no? Positively. Have you left them just to come to see Rosita? Of course. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> that takes two gets for you. Now run along. I have my own getting to attend to. Well, that makes 15 times in a row, and I haven't won a bet. Billy, don't bet some more. Those two, they laugh at you. That's all right. I think they're funny, too. I don't trust him. He's got bad face. I'm not betting on his face. Go away. Here, here's the last of it. Give me another stack. And don't laugh. I'll break this bank before I'm through. Place your bets. Round and round, the little ball goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. Here's where I start to go. Don't do that. Black is due to win. Is he coming soon? I... I think so. Good are they? Take back your bet, Billy. They won't let you win, I know. You're supposed to be working here. What do you mean by telling such things to customers? He's your customer, like all these suckers here. But he's my very special friend. Let go me. May I hand on her the same as laying a hand on me. What is it to you what he stands for here? He's my boyfriend. Positively. So you better get the rest of the boys, Bob. Looks like a fight. We'll have to get Trailer out of here. They're robbing you, Billy. You bet you might hurt his one big crook. You will not. I got you one going. minute, Lopez. Get back to the table, Dorothy. Give me Johnny! Johnny! I am sending him over to you, Captain, on the condition that you take him across the border and keep him there. Thank you, sir, I will. El carcelero desea hablar con usted. Right. Good night, Captain. Good night. Thanks for going to all the trouble, Ned. Oh, just skip all that. We're shoving off at the base. I've got to go back to the cafe for Dorothy. Don't be a complete fool. I took Dorothy back to San Diego hours ago. Oh, on my wedding night. But I'll make it all up to her. I'll square Listen, every trailer. You keep away from Dorothy. Me? Keep away? You can't tell me. I'm advising you. Well, I don't want your advice. Thanks for getting me out of this. I don't want your thanks. That came yesterday. Of course, I still hoped the trailer would square everything. But last night, he went too far. I've given him fair warning. He's through. You mean court-martial? Yes. It will lock him out of the core forever. Well, a dose of civilian life may make him see the light. No, that would be pitiful. To see the light and then realize that he was exiled from the Marines. Of course, if he resigned, it would save the face of the Corps and give him a break. Uh, Benton, uh, you tell him. Yes, sir. Come in. Please leave the room, Martin. I know I acted like a sap last night, but I'll make up for everything on the boat. You're not going on the boat, Trailer. You're leaving the Marine Corps. Leaving the Corps? I'm asking you to resign. For your own good. M me, me resign? To save yourself a court-martial. And certain dismissal. There's no doubt about that with you to testify. You said you'd keep me away from Dorothy. You've used your right to get me kicked out. <laughs> Nothing can make you understand. 
I understand plenty. I'm sorry for you, trailer. You're just all wrong. There it is, for the last time. Lieutenant William Trailer, and a good written. You don't mean it, sir. You'll be back again. You're crazy. I'd have to enlist. I wouldn't come back if they made me Major General Commandant. You'll always be a Marine, sir. Here, take that to the adjutant's office. Well, well, what are you waiting for? Okay, that's all. How about it, Doctor? You're in pretty fair shape, but you'll be better when you got a boot camp. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> I always told them that a man who was once a Marine just couldn't stop being one. Ha! Huh. Rosie, here, tell me. Do you love me? I followed him from Puerto Miguel to Panama City, from Panama City to San Francisco, from San Francisco to San Diego, then from San Diego to Iguana. I changed my kisses and he asked me, do I know him? I'll be the goat, do you? If you love me, Rosita, you must believe in me. This is all I believe in. He says here you're going to Puerto Miguel. Music, flowers. Find the things in the blood. Ah, uh, they are going to part of Miguel. But Buck and I are on detached duty, special to Juno, Alaska. Alaska, icebergs, Eskimos, whale steaks, and long, long nights. <laughs> Marines in Alaska. Here, read to yourself. You see, it says positively. Is this the true box? Don't you lie to me? No hombre can lie to Rosita Hernandez, Consuelo, Oliveira, and Buenaventura. Come on, let's we go to Alaska, mad damn. Come on, now, what do you say? Bonus deals, mad damn. Goodbye, my sweet. I'll see you in Alaska. Oh, Billy. Billy, don't go away. Oh, Billy. Billy. Are you happy, Ned? You know I am. Well, ever since we left San Diego, I've been trying to get you to set the date. Say when, Dorothy? Oh, just a little more time to think, Ned. It wouldn't be fair to come to you with Bill still lurking in the corner of my heart. Can't you get him out of your mind? Oh, of course I can. And I will. Besides, he's miles and miles away. Why, Ned, what's the matter? Bill's here. What? How? 
wrong. He arrived this morning with my replacements. He's enlisted. Bill Trailer's a private? Oh, nay. You still care? Are you afraid? I think I am. Bill just flew into my life out of nowhere. He smothered everything in me that can see clear and think straight. I always understood. Your sweet Ned. If only he hadn't come here. He'll never hurt you again. Dorothy, I give you my word, I'll never let him come near you. Here we are. I'll see you when you get here later. As soon as I get to a camp here. Bye. Bring camp, please. Well, I don't know how it happens, Trailer, but your orders are all right. Yes, sir. You're making a clean start down here. Your old life is over and done with. Finished. I heard different. What's that? I heard different about conditions down here. My old friend, the Torch. Yes, the Torch is tearing the country wide open. He's killed some natives. I've lost a lot of men, too. Too many. Look here, Bill. Yes, sir? It's about... about Dorothy. I want you to keep away from her. You want you... You heard me. Orders? Yes. As private trailer, I'll take orders and do my duty. But when off duty, I'll go where I please, see whom I please, and do what I please. And you can't stop me. Private trailer, I can find you within the limits of this camp until further orders. That's all. I said that's all. What'd he say? He said plenty of that two-faced hypocrite using his right to confine me to camp. Oh, maybe it won't be for long. I'll say it won't. I'm leaving right now. Hey, snap out of it, Gravel. We just got word the governor's sick. We're to bring him here. Wind her up. Governor away? How is he? Uh, oh, they oh, did? I... Well, that's too bad. You wait. They're taking him away. Couldn't wait. You go on back to camp. I'll stay here. Quite mistake, I guess. Uh, where's Miss Manning? I have a message for her. In the garden, sir. Hello, Dorothy. Dorothy? Oh, this is the garden I told you about, remember? I've pictured you in it a million times. Why don't you say hello to me, Dorothy? This is Bill. Bill, who's going to be Major General Commandant of the whole Marine Corps. Turn around. You're afraid? Yes. Oh, why should you be afraid of me? I know I acted miserable up north, and I'm awfully sorry. But when this crazy war's over, we will get married and go on a real honeymoon. No, no, Bill. But I've worked like a dog. I've stood drill in the blistering sun and the soaking rain. I've done kitchen police, paid all my debts, just for a chance to take you in my arms. Do you realize what you mean to me, Dorothy? I realize what I mean to your vanity. My vanity adores you. Oh, please, Bill, don't say any more. No more words, darling, only these. I love you. Oh, it's so hopeless. You'll never change. It can only mean wretchedness and grief to us. Ned, I'm glad you're here. You were confined to camp. Naturally, you're under arrest. Ned. Anything to keep us apart, Dorothy. Captain Benton's an officer and a gentleman. But you can't stop me, not if I have to break every regulation of the Marine Corps. Oh, Bill, no, no. Private trailer, report to the guardhouse. What? Disobedience of orders, absence without leave, insubordination to a superior officer. Five days, bread and water. All right, Trailer. Your time is up. You can beat it any time now. She was once a soldier's sweetheart, but now... Now! Hey! Your time's up, sir. Uh, I mean, Bill. Five days in there on bread and water, and five days listening to them. 
I know. I don't envy them when you get through with them. I wouldn't lay my hands on that Henry Marine hide. You wouldn't? No, I'm saving it all for Benton. I'm going to knock his teeth straight down his throat. But you can't do that. He's gone out on patrol. I know it. I'm going out after him. Uh-oh. Just one more little drink and I'm going out in that jungle and get him. Come here, Mario. I want to tell you about that guy, Ben. Oh, I know him like a brother. All day long you tell me about him. I think that you don't like this fellow, Benton, eh? I'm glad you asked me. He's an old bread and water disher out of Bread and water disher, water? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Get me a drink. When you pay. You're getting pretty drunk, Bill. I think you're oh, getting Oh, thank you, Paul. Make it snappy. Who is going to pay me? I will. Give Senor Trailer anything he wants. What's the big idea? I never forget a friend. Don't you remember, Senor Trailer? I met Van Loredo. Last year, when you drive the torch back to the hills, you captured one of our machine guns, you remember? I have captured lots of machine guns, millions of them. You could kill us easy, but you don't. I thank you very much. I think nothing of it. Have one on me, Mario. Three. And you know what the torch will do with you? He'll make you captain right away. Carlos, Carlos, what are you saying? The torch would make Senor Trailer a general. <laughs> well, Bill Trailer's going to be a general, huh? <laughs> no, better be careful or Zita be right on my tail. I don't want to be a general. I'd have to marry her. Bill, come with us. The torch will welcome you. Uh, you gentlemen have been too kind. I'm sorry not to accept your invitation, but I got a private war on with this guy, Benton. Well, this one does it, and I'm going out in that jungle and find him. You can find Captain Benton. There's Benton's. This is swell. This is terrific. <laughs> Benton, the shining light of the Marine Corps. Old Semperfied tell us himself. And has he got the Marines in a pickle? Benton, he's the kind of a pickle himself. Oh, boy, what I'd give to see that smug face of his now. That's easy, my friend. Sure, just come with us. <laughs> Not a bad idea. And then I can give him that sock on the jaw, huh? Positively anything you want. <laughs> oh, sure, anything. Yeah. So this is the place, huh? Why is everybody asleep? <laughs> if you are awake to greet you, my friend. Thanks for the reception, boys. Undercover, all of you! Whoa! Here's Loreto with a prisoner, a Marine. Huh, a playmate for you. Hello, Mr. Wildebill. Hello, Mr. Torch. There's a guy I've been looking for. I'm glad you saved him for me. He's my mate, Hamburger. That's what I'm going to make out of him. Not so fast, my friend. You say you want to join my army? That depends. How's your liquor? Oh. Not a bad layout. I don't like it here. So you found your level at last, eh? Oh. I'm waiting for oh, 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 oh. You can wait a little longer, my friend. But old David Lip here said I could take a sock at him. I am giving orders here. What do you know about machine guns? I know everything about machine guns. I can make them something big. Then maybe you can fix this one. Was he handling it when you captured it? I see. 
Noble soldier, huh? Oh, smart guy, aren't you? Why, you One can't. just wore it. A new gun guarantee with every sale. Listen carefully, Torchy Watchy, and you'll hear this thing say proper. Wait, man out up there! Get away! No, 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 you tight. Shoot high. Yeah, that's the road the Marines would take, too. You're all for me, eh? I want a hundred percent. Smoke signals. The Marines are on our trail. I go to place my men. Taylor, after I defeat the Marines, I make an officer. Consider me a general. <laughs> no, I forgot. Just make me a colonel. Take Benton out and shoot him. I always keep my word. Nix, Nix! The general here promised me I could have it out with Benton if I came up here. That's right, I did. All right, I give you five minutes, then I'll be back. Watch him carefully, maybe you learn something. You'll learn plenty. Carlos, take what men you need and go dig a grave. <laughs> Now I'm in command. You thought I was with those guys, didn't you? Yeah, I did for a minute. For good old Semper Fi, Dallas, you're just as dumb as you ever were. That was meant for me, you hurt? Yeah, but I don't know how bad it is. The prisoners are trying to escape! Attack the stronghold! Go home! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! You're okay, trailer. That's what I've been trying to tell you for years. Let me take that for a while. Huh? You want to play too? Yeah. There's no sense in both of us getting knocked off. Listen, I'm still your commanding officer. Go on the men, that's orders. Orders are orders, but if I disobey you this time, you'll have to court martial me. I won't resign. So long. So conscientious all the time, this is me. Why don't you obey orders? Anybody can obey orders, it takes genius to win a war. Takes ammunition. We're out. Huh, Frank Parkham, huh? 
What are you doing with that guy? Winning your cockeyed war. Tell your men to cease firing and surrender, or I'll let you have it. Let's hear that voice of yours. Call off your men. Why should I? You have of ammunition. But I still have shells in this gun. Come on, speak up. Man, don't shoot. I'm a prisoner. Now I want you to do what I say. Come and get me. They're out of ammunition. <laughs> in that house cannot hurt us. The Marines can. Now you take your places for the ambush and don't shoot until they get close. Take your places. Wow, here comes our gang. Our men are marching right into their ambush. Lay down your rifles and come here, man. Do as I tell you, the Marines will blow us to pieces. What are you waiting for? Come on. It's working. Hurry up, man. This gag isn't in the field manual. <laughs> oh, you ought to see the other guy. Uh, you mean Captain Benton? The first thing he did when they patched him up was to recommend you for a citation. How is old Semper Five Dollars? Well, they say he'll be walking around tomorrow. And the day after that, he'll be raising the devil with every man in his company. <laughs> yeah. And putting him in the brig on bread and water. Well, more power to him. <laughs> Oh, look at Mama with the posies. These are for you, Leatherneck. For me? For you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> she loves you, sir. It's wonderful. What are you saying? Uh, I said it's wonderful. Yeah. Sure. It's wonderful. What are you saying? Uh, I said it's wonderful. Yeah. Sure. It's wonderful. Hey, get me my stuff. I'm getting out of here. But you can't do it, sir. Not in your condition, sir. You'll die. Good soldiers never die. They only fade away. Billy trailer. He's down there. Wait a minute, miss. You can't go down there. Oh, who's that? No, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, but you can't do this. Oh, I tell you, you're you're talking talking about about a man. Oh, but you can't go out. You can't come in here. Oh, come in. I'll never change. 
I may be a fool, but I'm willing to risk it. You're a hero to me. Calling me a hero. I tell you again, I didn't know what I was doing. I was half tight. Oh, but Bill, dear. Don't call me dear. Do you think I'd raise my finger to say that buzzer, Benton? No. <laughs> Bill, you're lying. You were wounded. Do I look as if I were wounded? Bill, you're just saying that. All right, take it or leave it, but the gal for me is a gal who'll sort of bounce around the same way that I do. You know, sort of a, a female Marine. Like that girl in San Diego? That... Sure, Rosita. <laughs> we understand each other. But you're coming away from that sort of thing. She's out of your life. Rosita out of my life? Don't be silly. She goes wherever I go. Oh, dear. I don't believe you. Uh -huh. The Lord just wouldn't let me lie. Goodbye, Dorothy. And good luck. Goodbye, Bill. Good luck to you. Rosita, you'll never know how glad I am to see you. What's that for? For those cold nights in Alaska. <laughs> oh, yeah? You think it's very funny, no? You sent me to Alaska to die, no? And freeze to death. <laughs> Don't you horse me. It says right here on the register, Captain Benton's company goes to Shanghai. They are going, but I'm on detached duty, special to Washington, D.C. Here, look for yourself. It's about time, and I think they're going to make me a general. Oh, baby! Uh, oh. So funny!